when people ask me uh why do i need to learn mquery or what is mquery i usually tell them this is in power bi we have two sides the one side is the front side where we load the data create relationships and create visualizations cool visuals drag visuals and everything and we do all the calculations creating calculated columns or calculated measures aggregations and everything we do it in dax right everyone knows dax sum average max count count rows calculate evaluate all those things are the are the dax functions right we do all the calculation in the dax so in the front side on the front side we use dax to calculate everything so mquery is something we use in the back side of the power bi by the back side what i mean is when you transform data so the it loads a power query editor right so this is what i call the back side of the power bi and this is where the mquery is used so if you want to master power bi in my opinion i think you need to master both dax and mquery it's very essential and um, you can ask where is mquery then i can't see mquery all i see is uh, options and everything so if you want to see where mquery is being applied just select any query go advanced editor and you can see the mquery code and it looks very boring and very complex i know that was my first uh, impression as well and actually all the steps that you have applied like changing type adding custom table loading the source everything is being done in mquery okay this is just an ui for you to make your for uh, power bi to make your life easier but actually everything is happening in mquery over here so what happens is when you if you learn mquery is what it gives you the ability to manipulate things in over here and you might not have any idea of how i might use mquery in my port but imagine you have the capability to transform by yourself by using mquery functions by yourself instead of doing ui so that that gives you an extra power extra power extra ability to create awesome reports so my name is rush welcome to my channel power bi with rush I usually create tricks and tips videos in Power BI if you know me uh, and I am getting very good support from my users uh, sorry not users subscribers I'm very happy I'm getting good number of views and I, I upload videos like creating dynamic title freezing mat freezing rows and columns creating date picker cross joining in Power BI and so on but I've started this playlist where I'm going to teach everyone about mquery i've learned M i've been working in power bi for a while and mquery has made my life so much easier so i want you to i want to make your life easier as well okay so that was the basic uh my answer my answer to why you need to learn mquery so let's get started i'll just give you an example a very basic example of where we are using mquery okay we have a date column here okay what I need is I want this date column in a format year first and then month and then date how do I do that so if you don't know mquery how do you do that think about it for a while uh, I don't know but I know I can use mquery to do that so I'm going to show you how to do it in mquery so i'm going to go date ta date column i'm going to go date one okay so i need to convert it in a format year 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 month month and day day right so you might be familiar with the dax function called format uh, it's the same thing so in mquery it's date to text so what date to text does is simply it takes a date column and it converts it into a text so if i do date to text and select the date it's gonna give me what it does is basically it converts this thing over here the date uh, data type to a text data type okay so 
but we don't want that we want to change the format and for that we do just add a column and give uh, our format options which is year 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 month month and day day and that's gonna give us the date um, uh, in our required format and we can do uh, something like this as well we can go just give me month month and month let's see what happens oh cool right it's gonna give us the first three uh, characters of our the month the January Jan July Jul and so on that's pretty cool and this is the sort of thing that you can do using mQuery okay so this is very cool so another example is here you see the cost uh, column and it's obviously a cost is a currency and there is add-ons and it is a percentage value and you can see it's uh, in a text format so how do you usually what what's the goal here is you need this is a 10 percent so you need to calculate 10 percent of this so how do you do it here create a calculated column that's going to give you a 10 percent of this so you definitely do custom column and go let's say 10 percent and what you might do is you go cost right and you multiply by the 10 percent and it's gonna give you error okay because see these are text values and you can't uh, do any calculations between uh, text columns okay so what you do is you go to previous step and convert this to a uh, whole number but you, c you don't have to do it you can do it in here if you know mQuery right so what you do is you go a uh, number from similar to the text to text we now are getting a uh, number from text so number from cost and give me number from add-ons and that's gonna give me uh, make sure the number I need to give number from okay now it's gonna give me my desired output usually you, you it's better to convert it um, uh, it is uh, preferred it is obviously better to convert these uh, into numbers but I'm just showing uh, one of the use of mQuery functions so this is uh, two of the examples of mQuery now I'm gonna show you uh, the basic of mQuery tell you about the basics now I'm gonna go simply create a blank query so blank query is blank there's nothing there right so if I go to advanced editor it's gonna show me let and in and there is source and there is source and you're like uh, what are these so to make uh, to simplify this I'm gonna say let is anything that's an input in is the output so in input maybe okay I'm gonna input one and this is the output as well so one will be my output and there it is one is your output let's go let source is one and let go source let source two is equal to two and output now is two now it's gonna give you two right so basically let contains number of steps and in is the in contains one step which is which step which output are you going to have load which output are you going to load to the power bi report side are you going to load source equals to one or are you going to load source equals to two right i'm going to show you i'm, I'm, I'm just very tempted i'm just going to show you another example is I'm ca I can do something like this okay so I can go source 3 okay and I'm gonna go if uh, uh, so let's go today's I'm gonna get today's date okay which is date time dot local now don't worry about this I'll explain it some time later of what I'm doing here basically I'm getting a date from so today okay so this is today's date all right it's gonna give me 10 zero 09 and uh, 2023 and it's a 2023 right so let's go I'm gonna go 
I'm going to get year from this date. So that's going to be 2023. So what I'm basically doing is it's going to give me 2023. So year of today's date. So if it is, um, I think it's going to be in a number. So if it is 2023, then source is, so give me source one else uh, source two. Okay two and the output is source three so now what's this is gonna do is it's gonna see if it is 2023 then it's gonna give me source one else is gonna give me two uh, output okay so it is 2023 so if I select done uh, date time local not local is local now local, local now. okay now done it's gonna give me uh, source oh actually it loaded uh, these uh, queries not those queries <laughs> uh, so basically what it did was it loaded a source one which is this one and source two which is this one so we don't really have source one here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go source and I'm gonna go source two which is that one so that should give me the uh, number one so which is source source is number one it is 2023 and it is giving me one giving me one okay we're gonna go okay if it is 2022 then give me source one and else give me two so if i select done it's gonna give me two because it is 2023 not 2022 so this is something you can do to your data set as well right so let's go let's give me this is uh, source one which is uh, obviously source one now I'm gonna show before I do that I'm gonna show you what source one has source two looks like source one is one two three there's ID and name ABCD source two is also ID five six seven eight and name uh, a B B B and C and D, D, D. okay so I'm gonna change this to a whole number for now um, so in this query what I'm going to do is I'm going to load source one so let's say source one is source one okay which is this source one and source two is a source two which is this source two okay let's go over here and go source one source one is one two three four abcd and if i go change that to source two four five six seven eight and all the other names okay so now i'm going to apply the same thing over here so if it's 2022 give me source one else source two okay so done and it's going to give me source two because it is not 2022 it is 2023 so it's going to give me source two so now this is something you have now now you have the power right so these are two completely different data set and you can use if and else statement and say you in in your report if it's a uh, end of the month okay so you can do that right okay if it, if uh, if the date so this is this is today's date okay so it's this good this is this statement here is going to give me this date so what I'm going to I'm going to if the date is end of the month so that's it we have a function called end of the month as well and I'm going to copy this the same date okay so if this is end of the month then give me so let's say this is the your end of the month um, uh, table and this is your other general table okay so if it is end of the month then give me end of the month table okay uh, end of the month table and if it is not uh, end of the month then give me general table right so you can do something like this and you go source 3 and it is not end of the month so it's gonna give me general table now done and this is this is the general table okay if it was say if it is not end of the month give me end of the month table else general table and now it's going to give me end of the month table because it is not end of the month okay so these are the things that you can do in inquiry and it is
super cool and i highly recommend you to learn this is just basic things that i'm showing and this was a basic um, overview video but in my next tutorial i'm going to go through all not all like most of the most used functions in mquery uh, especially table functions list functions number functions date time function date function date func date time functions and so on and I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn uh, more about mquery or power bi in general um, I really appreciate your support and please subscribe to my channel I really really it really motivates me to create more videos seriously because uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a power I'm a report analyst as well a reporting analyst as well and I make time on weekends creating these videos for you guys and when I see comments likes and all the subscription it really encourages me to make more videos and help you guys out you know so please do support me and subscribe to my channel I hope you like these videos if you have any questions any comments please do let me know and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible okay so that's everything for today thank you very much my name is Rosh uh, signing off